Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the November 2014 Grade 7-8 Contest Question 22, which also came up in the Grade 9-10 and 11-12 contests. Now the question is, when the three-digit positive integer n is divided by 10, 11, or 12, the remainder is 7. What is the sum of the digits of n? Okay, now from the question, we know that this number n must be 7 greater than a multiple of 10, 7 greater than a multiple of 11, and 7 greater than a multiple of 12. Now this also means that it must be 7 greater than a common multiple of 10, 11, and 12. Okay, and now we want to find all common multiples of 10, 11, and 12. And now the way to do this is to find the lowest common multiple of 10, 11, and 12, and then find and then any multiple of that lowest common multiple. Now to find the lowest common multiple of 10, 11, and 12, we need to do a prime factorization for 10, for 11, and for 12. Okay. Now the prime factorization for 10 is just 2 times 5 because we know that both these numbers are prime numbers. Now for 11, we know it is just 11. 11 is a prime number itself and for 12, it is then 2 times 2 times 3 and we know this is true because they're all prime numbers. All right, now the lowest common multiple of 10, 11, and 12 is equal to, all right, so we will, now we need to collect all prime factors. So we will start out with the smallest factor is 2. Now, to know how many the number of 2's that we need, we just find the maximum number of 2's in any of these three prime factorizations, which is in 12, because we have two 2's. So now we just need 2 times 2, and then the next biggest prime factor is 3, and then we just have 5 and then 11. Okay. So 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 3 is 6. 10 times 6 is 60. And then we just have times 11. And 11 times 60 is 660 because 10 times 60 is 600. 1 times 60 is 60, 660. Okay, but now we want to find n. So we know that the lowest common multiple of 10, 11, 12 is 660. And like we said before, we just take any multiple, so let's say k, and then we just multiply this by the lowest common multiple, which is 660. And then, of course, we still have to add the remainder, which from the question we know is 7. Okay. Now, from the question, it says, when the three-digit positive integer n. Okay. Well, for this to be a three-digit number, k must be 1, because as soon as k becomes 2, that's already a 1,000 and whatever. So that's already a four-digit number. So k must be 1, and that means that 660 plus 7 is 667. Therefore, we know n is equal to 667. And now the final step is to find the sum of the digits of n. Okay. The digits are 6, 6, and 7, so we will just do 6 plus 6 plus 7. 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 7 is 19. Okay, 
So the sum of the digits of n is g19. Now the key, the key concept in this question is the lowest common multiple which we used. If you'd like to know more about this, con this contest, please feel free to visit our website at caributest.com.